Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to episode six of Smelts' personal podcast. For today's podcast episode, I brought on one of my very, very good friends. So please welcome for the first time on my podcast, my buddy, Chance Mangrum. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Chance here. and Hey, Chance. Like, how do you feel being on here? Dude, I'm pumped. I've been waiting to get on Smells' podcast for months. I know. Like, you've been asking me. It's like, Peyton, when are we going to do a podcast? Peyton, when are we going to do a podcast? And I was like, your time will come, and, you know, here we are. So, Chance, um, um, what, like, why don't we get it? Like, my dad actually gave me the idea for this, like, episode. Um, he asked me to bring on, like, one of my sports friends and talk about the sport that they're involved with. And so... I wanted to get you on here and, like, let's have an open conversation about um, wrestling and, like, you know, the pros and cons and, you know, what's exciting about it and, you know, past experiences with it. Um, Like, how long have you been in wrestling for? So, I've been wrestling for about three years now and it's the greatest sport, you know, we'll be able to, you can take out any op when you wrestle and... You can uh, take out thugs and stuff, like, when they're coming after you. But also, you can learn, like, good technique and good uh, life lessons, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like, there's definitely, like, with my experiences with wrestling, like, wrestling, what I've noticed is that it is very, like, competitive. And, like, you know, there's tons of, like, wouldn't you agree that there's, like, tons of competition, like, around Yeah, there's a bunch of people on trend and stuff, you know, so a bunch of competition. But when you train hard, you rise above. Yeah, like there's there could be kids that are like, you know, faster, stronger, quicker, you know, like all that stuff. Like there's plenty of competition like in wrestling. And that like that's what why wrestling is like so competitive. And that's like mainly what I've like enjoyed about it. Now, um, like let's discuss like something about like what I've noticed in like wrestling the weight classes like how do the weight classes work so you got to make weight you got to be the weight you wrestle so you might have to lose some weight you know i lost 10 pounds in a week yeah like uh what like like what weight class are you like currently in right now well i'm not wrestling right now it's the summer but i wrestled 138 yeah i think i wrestled about like 138 140 like when i was like in wrestling at that time um, and what I've noticed, like, sometimes in wrestlers, when it, when it comes to things like weight, like, they like to cut down. Like, why do you think, like, wrestlers like to cut down? Big advantage if you cut weight. Big advantage. And then you gain that weight back. Oh, yeah. True, true. Because, like, if you cut weight, you could, like, wrestle, like, kids that are, like, smaller. And, like, you could have kind of an advantage if you, you know, you got the advantages, like, of strength or, like... Still, like, you're a little bigger, faster. Like, you could have the advantages, like, with cutting weight. I actually have a cutting weight story. Oh. So, I was cutting weight and, you know, super dehydrated. I go to sleep. And during my sleep, I have a dream. And my, that dream, I go back 500 years. And my family, I'm a farmer. And this whole dream was like a lifetime. I'm a farmer and I'm protecting my family from black nights. <laughs> Interesting, actually. Yeah. But... You know, because humans, they're like a psychic, you know, psychic buffer, you know. When you dream, you go and you see uh, your ancestors through the dream consciousness, you know. Very, yeah, very, very interesting. Like, um, I know, like, when I see, like, people, like, cut on weight, like, there's, like, some people that do, like, a bunch of crazy things to, like, cut weight. Like, one of my favorite UFC fighters, Jorge Masvidal, he had to lose 22 pounds in like six days and so he basically you know sat in saunas he dehydrated himself basically sweated all out like it was like nuts he basically starved himself for six days he he sat in saunas he basically sweated all out and he was able to lose 22 pounds in like six days and like i think that's crazy now getting off the weight topic like let's discuss like things about the coaches in wrestling um Coach Babo, like, let's start with him. Like, he's the head coach. Like, coach, coach Babo's the best. Coach Babo's the best dude because, you know, he's wise. Coach Babo's wise and he saves money. Yeah, like he's been like around for like a long time. Like, yeah, Coach Babo was born in 1968, or 19. That's when he graduated high school. So you know, he's still he's still kicking and he's still around. Yeah, like but he knows he, everything about wrestling. He knows the moves, and he knows any good restaurant in the area. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a little fun fact about him. He knows any, like, good restaurant around there. Like, Babo, yeah, he's, like, been doing this, like, for a long time. And, like, he's st- it's so, like, interesting that he's, you know, still around and still, you know, a head coach. Like, despite his advancing years, he's still an incredible coach. What about Cruz? Like, what do you think about Coach Cruz? Coach Cruz is a beast. You know, Coach Cruz, he won. To be honest, like, to be honest, Cruz kind of scares me a little bit. But that's only, like... Cruz can only be scary if you're on his bad side. You got to get on his good side. Cruz can be scary if you're a beta male, you know. If you're an alpha and you eat beans and you go out and sit in the sun. If you're not eating seed oils, because <laughs> seed oils are what the government puts in food to feminize men, you know. But if you're not eating seed oils, then you like Cruz, Coach Cruz because he's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, now, let's get into Coach Watts. Like, what do you think about Coach Watts? Coach Watts, he coaches uh, the girls' team more, but I've wrestled him a couple times, and he's he's a real cool dude. I, I'm a big fan of Watts. Yeah, eventually, like, I had to, like, 1v1 Watts at, like, one point, and, yeah, that dude murdered me in, like, 30 seconds. He's 30 strong, seconds. and he has, a, he has a very hard head. Coach Watts is one of the hardest heads I've ever felt. Yeah. His head is like a stone. Yeah, for sure. And um, any other coaches you'd like Coach, to mention? I'm going to give a big shout-out to Coach Love. Coach Love is the biggest... Uh, He's a wrestling nerd, but it's, he's a great wrestling nerd. You know, he's a great guy, amazing yeah. coach. Yeah, for sure. Like, I got to know Coach Love my sophomore year, and, yeah, he's he's a pretty sweet guy, and he always, like, has pushed us to, be, like, be our best, just like Babo and Cruz and Watts. Like, I feel like all the coaches are, like, do such an amazing job. And, um, you know, we're getting to, towards the end of the podcast episode. Um, Chance, like, would you encourage anybody listening, like, to join wrestling i think i'd encourage every single person listening to join wrestling for sure facts best like, sport like wrestling just like any other sport we yeah we may have been teammates but it felt like we were all brothers and sisters because you know we were we had a guys team and a girls team so we all felt like family like that's usually like what a sport does is like it brings you closer together and you feel like family more than just friends and now Advice you would give to any, like, future wrestlers? Advice I would give is train hard every day. Lift weights, train hard. Don't take any days off unless you're injured, you know, and just keep working, you know, get good. I'd also recommend that you start listening to Alex Jones and you stop. Is he, like, a motivational speaker? Yeah, he's pretty much, like, a smart guy. He'll t- he'll tell you you better stop drinking tap water if you want to be good, too. Yeah, I don't chemicals. think you should drink tap water at all. <laughs> The chemicals in tap water are horrible, but um, also be wary of, um, in the national parks, be wary when you go to the national parks, there's a secret cave system Mm -hmm. that freaking creatures steal people. It's called Missing 411. Look into it. Uh, Every Uh year, hundreds of people go missing in the national parks, so watch out. One of my, actually, nephews went missing Uh in the national parks. Okay. All right. And finally, advice that I would give to future wrestlers, just like Chance mentioned, like, train hard, never take a day off, never take an off day. If you really are, like, serious about it, like, talk to Coach Babel if you go to JHS or talk to your wrestling coach at any high school that you're at. And um, to close the podcast, I'd just like to say, Chance, thank you for joining me. Can I say some stuff? Yeah, Yeah. uh, totally. Alright, you know we the best. Thank you Chance for joining me, and that's the end of the podcast.